Hello, hi painters, welcome to my watercolour painting channel, it's Diane McNaughton here. In this video I'm going to feature warm versus cool colours. If you have a look at my little colour wheel here of some of my paints, you'll see on this side these colours tend to be warm colours, and this side they tend to be cool, but that's all relative of course, because you can get a cool yellow and a warm yellow, as with all the other colours. So what's the point of understanding and having a knowledge of what colours are cool and what colours are warm. Well, when you think of it, when you're doing a painting or when I'm doing a painting, I want to create this illusion, I want to create a little bit of drama, um, I want to do something more than just an illustration and I often use paints, the colour, the warm and the cool to create this drama. You can use warm and cool colours to create a contrast. If you do a painting and mostly with mostly cool colours and then you put a few bright sparks of warm colour, you really make those warm colours sing. The other way you can use warm and cool colours is in your landscapes. If you look out of the window and you look at the distant hills, if you're lucky to have hills in your view, you'll notice that as the hills get further away, they seem to get bluer and more faded and as the hills come forward the ones that are closer to you these are much more warmer colors and more vibrant so if when you create your landscapes if you paint those distant areas with cool colors watery colors and you create your foreground with nice warm colors you create that illusion of distance here is my setup for today. I'm going to be painting these eggs and egg box to show warm and cool colours. I have created a value drawing of my setup, the eggs in the egg box. I like to know where the values are, the lights and the darks. Get it in my head before I start painting. Now the eggs, I'm going to slightly exaggerate the colour. I'm going to use strong yellow and a little bit of red to create that orange mixing on the paper. And the egg box itself is pretty sort of grim, it's a grey colour. I'm going to use a lovely cool blues with a little bit of red in it uh, to create a more interesting look. I'll also use those same colours in the background and the shadows. I'm just going to be using three colours, that's Oriolan, French Ultramarine and Permanent Carmine in this painting. And I've made three puddles to get going. So in my first layer, I'm going to just put on paint kind of where it should be. I love doing this sort of thing. Um, try not to get too many hard edges in this layer. So I'm sort of bringing the colour over and beyond where, they sh where it should be, especially the yellow there. And if some of the, the wrong colour goes into the area, it's fine. I can just look at and I can lift it off even while it's wet. So this is just a, it's almost like we start off with chaos and we come in with the hard lines and hard edges right at the end. So it, it creates a sort of lovely loose beginning. So here we have our warm colors. Um, it's yellow with a bit of red in it. Yellow and red make a lovely orange color which are warm. And then we have blue and red, the same red, but when mixed with blue, cools off nicely. So we have the cool colours next to it. So I've chosen the eggs in the egg box because it, there's quite a difference. Here I'm wiping off, you can see I'm wiping off some of the lights while it's still wet. So everything is pretty soft. There's no hard lines here or very few. I'm just adding a little bit more paint to some areas. It's all still very wet. Just uh, There's a little bit of a highlight there I'm leaving, a little crack of light. And I think that should be fine for the first layer. I know it looks like a bit of a mess, but we're going to see where it goes. I'm just lifting off some of that blue there. This is the first layer dry now. It's a little bit sort of crinkled, but anyway, I'm going to now do some negative painting with my cool blues around the egg box here. I'm creating the edge. I'm quite happy with that first layer for the, um, the light part of the egg box. 
So here we start creating some more harder edges. I'll soften some of the lines here and there. I've got my lovely egg shapes there that I want to keep and create. So I think I'm fine with that. Whoops, I've just put in my brush into the wrong blue, but never mind. I was hoping just to use the French ultramarine. A little bit of a shadow there under the, the box. the shadow that comes from the egg towards the box so a bit of blue and a bit of red and then I'm going to create a soft egg edge there with the yellow and red so that it merges into that shadow our stars of the show are lovely warm orangey yellowy ready eggs Hopefully that's, that egg is all right for colour, so we'll just have to see. Now I need to bring in a little bit more detail. That bit that sticks up from the egg box, that divides the eggs. And while it's still wet, I'm going to paint those eggs so there's a merging of colours. Leaving a little bit of a highlight there. So I'm first adding the yellow and then putting the red on top of it to create the orange effect. I'm turning my board around so that you can see what I'm doing. I'll do that every now and again. There's a bit of a shadow behind that egg so I want to incorporate so some of that orangey color can go into the shadow. some lovely shapes here where this light of one egg is against the dark of the other egg and it creates that lovely line there another one there and I'm trying to get the shape of the egg right so how the light falls on that egg and I'm softening edges as I go. These two eggs actually uh, melt into each other at the bottom there. Next egg, and I'm keeping my own eye on the other eggs to soften the edges as they slowly dry. There's a little dark patch behind that egg that I want to try and get there. And another one there in that box there. So I'm checking all my edges, softening here and there. Now there's a nice little shadow underneath the lip of this egg box. So I'm looking at my still life and seeing where the light and the dark is. And then I'm painting the shadow of the egg box. Just about done. I'm just adding a little bit more red to that one egg. You can now see the difference between the lovely warm colors of the egg and the cool colors of the background and the box. And uh, it shows up the eggs beautifully against that lovely blue. So here is the finished painting. I do hope you've enjoyed this.